Hi guys, in the September 26th update we've made some changes affecting how you should prepare your native materials to use with the override materials option. When using standard U Draper material, it's applied to both front and back side of the cloth. Previously, you only had to add MF Draper WPO function to your native Unreal Engine material to support the fabric thickness settings. Don't forget to enable Show Engine and Plugin Content to see this function. Then, we've added Geometry Cache to better support temporal anti-aliasing, so you need to specify use with Geometry Cache in your material settings. The problem with the previous approach was that it didn't render the back side of the fabric correctly. As you can see, the back side of the skirt is dark when we use override material option. To rectify this problem and reuse the same geometry, we need to flip the normal to point to the right direction. This is what we've done in the September update, so you need to modify your native materials in order to enable this functionality. Let's take a look. As you can see our previous material isn't working anymore and we need to apply a little fix. In the material function call, we need to specify MF Draper output function. It needs to be connected as following. Your normal map is connected to the raw normal input pin of MF Draper output function. Result output, to the world position offset, and normal transformed, to the normal pin of our material. Now, for our material, we need to find the tangent space normal option and uncheck it because we now work in the world space. Save your material and apply it to the fabric. As we can see, the back side of the fabric looks okay now. Let's select Path Tracing now. First, you can see that the edges, thickness and bias, don't look good with Path Tracing. So, we need to switch the Vector Factory from Geometry Cache to Local. This fixes the thickness and edges appearance. Also, in Path Tracing mode, the back side of the fabric looks dark again. This attributes to a different shadow casting when using path tracing. We don't have a good solution for this problem yet. If you are an advanced user, you can go to the Draper Garment Actor Blueprint and turn cast shadows for the opaque mesh component, but this is not a great solution. In case you're using more advanced and layered materials, like the ones from Quixel, you can apply the following modifications. Add the material function call. Specify MF Draper output. Add get material attributes function for this material adjustments and add normal output pin. Connect it to the raw normal input pin of MF Draper output function. Add set material attributes function and add normal and world position offset pins. Connect them with the normal transformed and result outputs from the MF Draper output. Finally, uncheck the tangent space normal for your material. Save your modified material. 
you also may need to adjust the UV scale for your material. Thanks for watching.